My mother always told me about this land and of my grandmother who came from here and I imagine what it must have been hundreds of years ago in the dream time. How water must have flowed from this ancient waterfall and the rocks are smooth and flat like flooring where they sat. Also nearby is a pandanus palm forest, sign of water and probably the remnants of a larger forest which fruits and nuts are edible. So let's protect this pandanus palm forest so to increase new growth and who knows the water may flow again from this ancient waterfall. My name is Dorothy Jarwan Spry, near Shadford. I'm the youngest daughter of Dot Shadforth. Dot was one of the little girls and her sister Lily that were born on the sand hill here at the bay, at Penda Bay. They lived here and they used to play along the beach and they used to walk over to Jurid and Julbad and across the bay to Widong. They used to stop at Jurid because at Jurid there's a special place there where the runny water used to run down. In the early days there used to be a big waterfall like in the Dreamtime story. They never used to carry water with them because they knew that fresh water was always there. <laughs> My old grandmother followed after them, but she couldn't do nothing. When they left, it's like everything died. The country ran here, died and got abandoned. Nobody lived here for over 50 years. And it was in the 80s when my mother came back to site. Ma Lily came before her. Mum came, and when she came back here and she walked along the beach, she used to stand up in the corner there. 
<clears throat> and she used to say, oh, I can hear them all talking to me. I can hear them calling out. And she'd walk along the beach, walking and talking to old people amongst the mangroves and along the way on the beach when she used to walk up to the Lucky Rock and back again. What about the Nanyamaran? Churudangan? Ola, that is Nanyamaran. Ola getting it. Caram, Inaman, Caracal, all like in Amber of Jordan. Amber and Boringeran. She put her hand on the rock where it used to run down, looked around, and then might be people who mightn't believe us, but when she touched the rock and that, and that water started to run, then, and from that day onwards, that fresh water is still running down the rock after it had all dried up. Yeah, go ahead. When that water started to run, it was welcoming her back to country because she was home after all those years from when she was taken, when she was a little girl, she was back home in her country. And it just goes to show that black people, Aboriginal people, how we are connected to the land. And a lot of people say, oh, I own this land, I own that land, this is my place, that's your place. Nobody don't own this land, this country. The country owns us. And you look after your country and the country look after you. Mm -hmm. 